Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I just want to say thank you for all the love on my fasting video. I can't believe how many views that video has gotten in such a short period of time. So thank you guys so much for all the love. And thank you to everyone who is actually joining us on the fast this year. It's so encouraging to see, um, you know, people just get interested or um, get convicted, you know, just by listening to me share my experience. It's so beautiful and I'm just so grateful and really excited for what this fast is going to look like. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how I do my full makeup routine. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking, how do you do your makeup? How do you do your skin? How do you do your brows? How do you do? So I'm gonna do everything for you guys today, real time. It's gonna be very detailed and I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I use. All the products that I'm using today are actually drugstore products. Let me think about that. For the most part, the major products I'm using today are drugstore products, but if I miss anything out, I'll leave it in the description bar. So let's let's get started. If you see me looking down, it's because I have a little, I have my iPad here that I'm using as my mirror. Okay, first things first, I'm using CeraVe all over my face. That's actually my face moisturizer. I'm gonna put it all over. Okay. Whatever you do to your face, do to your neck. That's the rule. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using the RDF14 Ruby Kisses Foundation. It's literally $5.99, you can see it at the back. I got it from the beauty supply store. So I'm actually just going to use my brush to apply my foundation. Or sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I just use my beauty blender and apply my foundation all over my face. I, my production assistant is here watching me. I don't rub my foundation. I don't swipe my foundation all over my face. I just dab it in. That's what you want to try to do. You want to try to dab it into your face. Once you see that your foundation is good in one area, if you're fine with how it looks on one side, then you want to replicate that on the other side, basically. For the people that want to color correct, you can actually go in with your concealer that you use to color correct, and then you want to set your concealer before applying your foundation. I don't feel the need to color correct, so I don't actually color correct my face. And I try to take my time, because honestly, if your foundation sits right, everything else will sit right, right on your face. I find that a lot of people rush their foundation and they just it just doesn't sit right. There's a group of people that are afraid of applying foundation and then there's another group of people that just rush, you know, applying foundation. You want to try and take your time as much as possible and dab it onto your face. The reason why you don't want to swipe or rub is because you don't want to apply product in an area and then start to move that product. You want to make sure that that product is sitting put where you applied it, if that makes sense. I've gone ahead and applied my foundation all over my face and I feel comfortable with the way it looks at the moment so I'm gonna go ahead and conceal do my contour what's that noise I use the Ruby Kisses 3D contour kit this is what it looks like it's very it's not cute at the moment but I use the shade on the what is it far right right here and I'm just going to powder contour my, my face So again, I don't, I don't do too much. Like I don't over contour or anything like that. I just try to like burn and you know give my face a little bit of depth on the sides. But sometimes, honestly, I would use a cream contour and contour the sides and then go in with a um, pat with powder to set that contour. But today, I'm not. You want to try to make sure that you're contouring your face above your right like where your ear line is if you trace that all the way down that's kind of where your contour should sit so kind of like right here i actually have hyperpigmentation around that area so sometimes it shows up but it doesn't matter i just i don't <laughs> i don't bother myself about it i really just i just go with it i'm comfortable with not wearing makeup but i'm trying to get my skin to a point where all the hyperpigmentation is gone enough for me to not see any scars on my face I'm going to highlight the areas under my eye, my forehead, my my chin, or above my chin, and then a little bit of um, above my lip as well. LA Girl Pro Fawn, old fave, and it's just a staple in my makeup collection.
I've gone ahead to highlight the areas of my face that light directly hits. I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute or two and then I'm going to blend it all out. I wanna try not to over blend your face so that you can see the different um, dimensions of color on your face. I'm saying that because that's something that I used to do. I used to over blend to the point where my face will look like there's literally one color all over. I learned that from Flawless Faces by Jane actually, not to over blend. I'm gonna blend it all out. <laughs> Another trick that I do when I'm blending my concealer is I don't move my concealer around. Hey guys, I didn't know that my camera wasn't recording and I went ahead and blended my whole face. But what I did is I put my blender right where I placed my concealer and I just blended it in. I moved my fingers with my blender. So I didn't move the product, but I moved the blender. So I went ahead and pressed in here and then moved the blender and pressed in on the sides as well. I did the same thing on this side. So I still have concealer on because I wanted to check and see that you guys were following only to find out that it wasn't recording. But you don't need to move your product all the way out to the end of your face or all the way out to where your contour is. You don't need to do all that. All you have to do is just move your blender and just make sure that the product is in place. And you want to try to make sure that the concealer that's on one side is blending with the foundation that's already on the other side of your face right in the middle so it's almost like there's a line right there where your concealer would be meeting your foundation so you just want to make sure that the blender is putting everything in place so it looks flawless so i actually use two concealers and that's just personal preference it's not because you have to. I like my under eye to be a little brighter, so I use pure beige. But then some days I don't mind just using my fawn and I just I just do that. I forgot to mention, after every time I use my beauty blender, I wash it with castor soap. I make sure that it's clean and it's damp before I use it. I don't use my beauty blender dry. And that's something that I've gotten a lot of questions about. Do you use your beauty blender dry or wet? I use it damp. So there's no water in here, but it's definitely damp. I wash it, I squeeze, make sure that I squeeze out all the water inside and I just use it down. It's supposed to be soft and fluffy so that it, that it blends in pretty well. I put some pure beige on my face. So I'm just going to let it sit for a minute or two. It's probably about a minute now. Nothing new, just a concentrator trying to figure life out. <laughs> Again, you're blending in place. And you can actually go ahead and blend both sides at the same time. So I'm sure you can see what we're doing. And if it gets to your lid, that's fine as well. It's, it's okay because I do my brows last anyway. So I'm just blending in place, blending in place. And then when I get to the sides, again, I'm moving Beauty Blender but I'm still blending in place. You see? Moving my beauty blender, but blending in place regardless. Making sure that all the lines are nicely blended. That's pretty much it for blending. I'm gonna go ahead and put some wax on my brows. I'm gonna do my brows right now. Do a little bit of eyeshadow, set my face. Okay, let me say this. The reason why I haven't set my concealer yet is because when I do my brows, I'm gonna do my concealer under my brows and then I'm gonna just go ahead and set everything at the same time instead of having to set it twice, if that makes sense. That's just what works for me. If you feel more comfortable doing it the other way around, actually, however you feel comfortable doing your makeup, do it just like that. There is no one rule or one way to do makeup. It's just what you feel comfortable with. I got this wax from Nigeria. It's called Glam, Glam Gals Professional Brow Wax. I've seen some people use bar soap, like just literally put the brush on the brow soap and they just put it on your brows. I've also seen people just use their powder, like your setting powder, just so your brows are dry and you can take off the brow pencil. So I'm just setting my brows with a little bit of Sasha Buttercup. This is a bootleg way of doing makeup. Go ahead and fill in my brows. Can you, I can't see what I'm doing. Just imagine doing your brows and not seeing what you're doing. Guys, I can't tell you how these brows came about, but they are here. I'll be thank the Lord. 
between my brows and those shots and my brows don't look nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup. I'm just gonna set it. Set it and forget it. Yeah, my eyes. Take my eyes up my nose. If like me, you struggle with smile lines, this is what I do. Take extra translucent powder and just keep it there. My face is looking a little crazy right now, but you guys, I think you're getting the gist of this whole situation, right? I just like the look of this. So I'm going in with the same thing, the Ruby Kisses powder. Just a little bit of contour on my nose. I just drag it down. I connect it to the top of my brows. Do you know what? I had said that I was going to do my <laughs> eyeshadow off camera, but I thought to myself, why should I do off camera? This is what I do. My eyeshadow is so basic. I don't ever do anything serious. I'm gonna show you guys, so basic. I use two colors and I'm out. This one that's about to be done, this palette is from Ace Beauté, by the way. Ace Beauté. So I use this color, it's about to be done. Then I put this one right in the corner of my eye and that's it. And it's not because I don't like eyeshadow. It's just because I can never figure out how to do it right. No, that's not true. I get very lazy when it comes to my eyes. I just wanna just do the barest minimum and just, just get out. I don't stress myself when it comes to my eyes. This color, this one right here. I put it in the corner of both my eyes and that's it. Right there, over here. That's pretty much all I do for my eyes. We're not going anywhere major, we're just going to our friend's house. I'm just going to put my mascara on. I'm using the NK mascara. This is one that I got from Beauty Supply Store. Again, I showed you guys. Then I'm going to put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. You guys can tell that we're losing all of the sunlight. I'm going to take my brush, put it into my contour powder kit. I'm gonna use these two colors. I'm just gonna dab into them a little bit. Dust, dust of excess and I'm gonna swipe it under my everything at this point. So I'm going with a little bit of lip gloss with my clear gloss and that is that's it. Lip gloss from MAC it's called Bow B A B X Bow. I'm just going a little bit in the middle of my lip. Clear gloss from NK NK needs to sponsor this video at this point, right? Because all done. Capish, finito. For this video, I just showed you guys the entire process of getting this makeup done. I hope that you guys got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, please let me know. If you have any other questions about the products that I've used in this video, let me know in the comment section. I forgot to mention. 
please don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and let's get more people in in the family thank you guys so much for all the love happy new year because this is my last video of 2022 technically i hope you learn new tricks and new tips that you can take oh and if you actually go into the beauty supply store to get any of these products please let me know so that i know that you guys are using them and you're actually enjoying them as well i'll see you guys in my next video god bless you take care Mwah. And happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year.